This is the Ping It Trajectory Tuning 2.0 Hosel Sleeve. And if you have a Ping Driver, Fairywood, or Hybrid, you better take some notes because this video will be for you. We'll show you everything that you need to know about the Ping Trajectory 2.0 Hosel Sleeve and how to optimize this club for your swing. At Second Swing Golf, club fitting is at the center of our operations. Every time someone either visits secondswing.com or walks into one of our store locations, we wanna make sure that they're playing clubs that are fit for their swing. And the Trajectory Tuning 2.0 Hosel from Ping allows us to do that a lot easier. Now there's a few things to remember about the Ping Hosel that has new since the Ping G410 clubs. The Trajectory Tuning 2.0 Hosel sleeve was implemented in the Ping G410 series and has been added to each new Ping Metal Sense. So that includes the Ping G425, holding in my hand here, and the new Ping G430. In total, there are eight possible settings with this hosel. There are five that keep their line angle relatively neutral, and then there are also three flat settings. This chart showcases the eight settings and the symbol associated on the hosel sleeve. Of note, in the neutral settings, increasing the loft will slightly close the club face. Meanwhile, decreasing the loft will slightly open the club face. So if you happen to be struggling with a slice, perhaps you can increase the loft using the big plus setting, increasing loft to 1.5 degrees, which will also slightly close the club face and help fight that slice just a little bit. It's also worth noting that there is a separate hosel for left-handed players. For those right-handed players, you'll see an open circle in the standard setting on the hosel, but for the lefties, it'll be a filled in circle. And one thing to note is if you are using a hosel sleeve that is opposite from your driver head, for example, left-handed hosel sleeve for right-handed driver head, uh, the loft adjustments will be reversed. So for example, if you're going to go into the big plus setting, let's say you're a left-handed player, and you wanna increase that loft by 1.5 degrees, you should actually, if you have a right-handed hosel, choose the big minus setting, and that will increase the loft for you. Now let's go over how to actually make those adjustments to your club. So I've got my club and I've got my ping wrench. So you'll need both of those things. And the first step is going to be taking the club head off of the shaft. And that means inserting the wrench into the screw here and twisting counterclockwise to loosen. And you'll eventually be able to pop the club head off of the shaft like so. Then you'll identify the setting on the sleeve that you'd like to change it to. So for example, if I was going to adjust this ping a G425 driver into the big plus setting, which increases the loft by 1.5, I'm going to line up the big plus and the 1.5 with the arrow on the driver so that they match. Then you'll take that wrench again, insert it into the screw and then rotate clockwise. Make sure you tighten and then you wait for it to click. With this information and demonstration, you can now take your ping club, which is the driver, ferrywood or hybrid and get yourself dialed in. Maybe it's on the driving range or maybe it's on that first tee before you play and you can play some better golf. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to our team. Our live chat on secondswing.com, we have fitters that are certified and able to help you uh, during business hours every day of the week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.